New at 10, a bill that aims to repeal the Texas Dream Act, which allows thousands of undocumented college students to pay in-state tuition, could soon hit the Senate floor. Action Force Annalisa Ortiz found out what that would mean for students of UTRGV. Marcy, UTPA and UTB have more students that benefit from the Texas Dream Act than any other UT system school. Now, last week during committee hearings, the chancellor of UT system said the bill would have a negative impact on the university if it were to pass. But some lawmakers say the state has to cut costs somewhere. They're actually helping me to go into my career and have a professional life. At the University of Texas Pan American and the University of Texas at Brownsville, 890 students benefit from the Texas Dream Act. Edna Mata is one of them. For me, it's a lot more opportunities. The act allows undocumented students who graduated from a Texas high school and lived in the state for at least three years prior to graduation attend college at the same cost as a Texas resident. If Senate Bill 1819 passes, future undocumented students will have to pay out-of-state tuition costs to attend universities like UTRGV. That's more than double the price. The university state tuition said they would rather go to other universities instead. I guess that would not help the university in general. I don't understand do what that. that meant, but I think I'll, I'll take you at your word. The bill Correct. saw heated testimony and during committee hearings last week. The bill's author, Senator Donna Campbell, tells Action 4 News, as compassionate as we all feel, we know that Texas cannot afford to set aside public benefits for non-citizens living in other countries who choose to come here illegally in perpetuity. Some students say undocumented students should continue receiving in-state tuition costs. And to use all of their knowledge that they have and they're willing to help our country um, to, better our, to better our country. And that doing so will encourage people to get a higher education. They could have, a, you know, like an idea that this is a university where they can come and afford it. Now, the bill needs the approval of 19 out of 31 senators to head to the Senate floor. We'll continue tracking it for you. From the Far McAllen Newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News. If this bill becomes law, undocumented students will also no longer qualify for Texas grants.